a very popular destination within Mexico's capital. It's called Xochimilco, which is actually a Nahuatl language word combo that means where the flowers grow. Okay, so we've made it to the lakes of Xochimilco where they have the gondolas uh, for cruising, for just getting to know this, this river, which has a lot of agricultural history, and uh, we'll get to know it right now. It's Xochimilco, folks, so follow us along. These colorful flat bottom boats called trajineras are full during the holidays as families and visitors enjoy an activity that was literally commonplace to their ancestors. That's right. Ancient pre-Hispanic peoples did this exact same activity. 500 years ago, Xochimilco was the agricultural hub of Tenochtitlan, an ancient Aztec metropolis of around 235,000 inhabitants. You could say it's a remnant of what Mexico City was, uh, you know, in its genesis. The, the, the whole of Mexico City is built on lakes. I mean, even their agricultural uh, endeavors, they would fashion rafts and put dirt on them and vegetation on them, and that's how they would grow uh, their food. It was ingenious because the, their plants were always feeding off of water. They were never, uh, they were never any, suffering any drought. And the canals, Xochimilco here, is very representative of how uh, the Aztecs used to navigate through their city, a city made of, of, of buildings over rafts, canals, and so on, so. These floating gardens were called chinampas, and they cultivated fruits and vegetables to feed the Tenochtitlan megacity. This system of waterways was the connection and the main transportation venue from the pre-Hispanic period all the way up to modern times. However, with the pumping of underground aquifers, water tables dropped, drawing canals, and all that are left are the ones you see before you in Xochimilco. Now to add insult to injury, water lilies were introduced to the canals from Brazil in the 1940s. Since then, they have become a serious problem as their overgrowth depletes minerals and oxygen from the water of this place. Today, Xochimilco is more of a tourist destination. Couples will hire a barge for a romantic outing. You have food vendors on their barges ready to cater to other boats or people that hop in with them just to have a nice time. This area also offers excellent opportunities for bird watchers. That long rectangular canal is actually the two kilometer long Xochimilco Olympic rowing track that was built for the 1968 Olympics. People actually live along the banks of this oddly shaped lake slash canal system. It makes me think of Waterworld, Venice, all with a Mexican twist. We are here on a weekday and it's a really soothing glide. If it was the weekend, this place would be bustling, <laughs> but not today, and that's okay. Hello there, thank you for watching that Crossing South video on the KPBS YouTube channel. If you like that, click the subscribe button up here so you can watch more videos like that. Take care, bye-bye.